start happening to your body. You don't see too well. Mm -hmm. It can't move, maneuver too well. Right. So I don't uh, do any sewing now, but I, I, I still like it. Mm -hmm. And um, I've always loved to read. Um, okay. I loved reading. So that was one of my um, hobbies, mm -hmm. was, uh, reading. Mm -hmm. And I've been involved in a lot of uh, clubs. I'm a member of the Majorette Social Club. And I've uh, been in that for some still mid fifties maybe, something okay. like that, early sixties. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I work uh, with the church clubs. I'm in the mother's board. Okay. And, Tell uh, and, and your church is at Springfield Baptist Church. Uh -huh. okay. So and you've I, been there since I've been there all of my life all practically your life. because I joined the church when I was perhaps ten or eleven years okay. old. And my grandfather, Charlie Grimes, was a deacon there. Okay. So I practically have been there all of my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, Reverend David Andrews, I passed now. Okay. And so I, I, I work with the Mother's Board, and I'm with the Women's Mission. And um, I'm also with another club in the church, the Matron Circle. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are kind of a community church-oriented, try to do things, you know, uh, in the community as much as we possibly can when there is a need. Mm -hmm. And um, I um, I had been involved with uh, the uh, retired educators, but uh, I don't drive now, so I'm not able to get to things as much as I would like to. Okay. But I'm still, you know, a member of the retired educators, Clark County Retired okay. Educators. Mm -hmm. And um, I work with, uh, uh, sometimes I'm with uh, Church Women United. I go to that uh, when I can, you know, get an opportunity to go. Okay. And um, I'm with um, we have a club called the Golden Nuggets. That's a retired group, and we, you know, meet once a month, and I'm, I'm involved okay. with that also. Mm -hmm. So you're very active. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And also with the um, Savannah State Alumni Association. Okay. Uh, we get involved with that. All right. Mm -hmm. I know Miss uh, Helen Joseph was part of that. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, she loves Savannah State. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I love Miss Joseph. So, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. She was, she was, she worked hard for Savannah State. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know some other folks as well who, who've gone there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what advice do you have uh, for the for the younger generation? Well, the advice that I would give to the younger generation is to try to get an education if you possibly can, mm -hmm. because um, life is hard, and if you haven't prepared for it, it's even harder. So it's important to prepare yourself to live. Mm -hmm. I know you said a little bit about uh, your know, grandfather. It is the expectation for for you. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that and how he uh, saved money so that you oh, would be did. ready to go to That's school right. with Sarah? Talk about that a little bit. Okay, uh -huh. I uh, I often think about um, in those days um, that the, the, the people who were working were not making that much money. And going to college, I, I didn't know anything about college loans and all of that. Mm -hmm. So our parents had to save and uh, work even harder to, you know, get us in, in school. Mm -hmm. And he made it clear to you at an early age, you told me, that, that you was going to college. Yeah, yeah. he okay. did. He wanted, he wanted me to go to college. Mm -hmm. He did. Okay. Although he, he didn't have the education himself, mm -hmm. but he knew the value of an education. So did my grandmother. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and I'm sure they had to deny themselves of plenty right. to, in order for uh, me to go. Mm -hmm. And um, as I said, he, he worked. He had a, a job, you know, in the afternoons and uh, in order to um, have money for us. To, to do what we needed to do. And along with that, he bought his home next door. He bought, he owned his home. Okay. So, it was hard working and trying to do all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we found um, a picture of my grandfather in um, the 
Pandora uh, magazine at the uh, University of Georgia really? okay. in 1942 edition. Okay. And Wilhelmina ran off some copies for the family member. Mm -hmm. He, um, there was a fraternity, I can't remember the name, but it's on the paper. Um, he was driving a, a, a wagon or some kind of carriage or okay. something mm -hmm. called uh, Fraternity. And they okay. were all sitting on, okay. on there, so that, that picture was taken. Uh -huh. My grandmother used to have it a long time ago. I, I can't remember what happened to it, but it was in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. But it, it's in, in one of those magazines, Okay. my grandfather. And that was in 1941 okay. that that picture was taken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they made copies, you say. Do you have a copy? Yeah. We can get it before before you okay. leave. You okay. Can, all right. I want to see it. Okay. Okay. Anything else you want to say? Uh, have we covered everything that you would like to talk about? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 You, you got to depend on, on uh, your family mm -hmm. and your neighbors mm -hmm. and, and all of those, you know, to get you through. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Because I tell my children now that uh, they and I are very blessed because at the time that they were growing up, I never had to take them to anyone to take care of them. Mm -hmm. My grandmother was... I was in the house with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. My mother lived just around the corner, mm -hmm. and I could leave them in the bed in the morning mm -hmm. to go to work. Mm -hmm. And I knew that they were going to be taken Thank care of. And they never had to come home to an empty house mm -hmm. because there was somebody here to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, I said, "You're truly blessed. blessed. Yeah. You're blessed." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, all right. Thank you very much.